Well, I think the thing about um, this Cinderella is that it is unlike any other Cinderella. Mm. I mean, it simply by definition is completely different. It's set in the most beautiful village that you'll ever find in the entire world with the most beautiful people you'll ever find in the entire world. And it all looks absolutely gorgeous. And then everything starts to go a little wrong. Yeah. And we meet Cinderella, who is a misfit. Mm. And she doesn't belong to this world. I mean, I think what really attracted me to the story, Emerald, was the idea that Cinderella changes herself in order to try and please somebody else. And that somebody else doesn't recognize the person that Cinderella's become. Mm. And the central thing for me is, is that it's about beauty, but it's about beauty being what you are rather than what you try and make yourself. I think the thing that we wanted to say with this Cinderella is that um, if, if, the, if the fairy tale of Cinderella is a, a fairy tale of transformation, we wanted to interrogate if that transformation is good or if transforming yourself ever is necessarily a good thing. And I guess it seemed like a very modern idea in a very traditional setting. That definitely came across because I think Cinderella, like you said, she's, she's uh, from this fairy tale-esque world, but she's got a very modern way of thinking. And even when she sort of gives into this idea of transforming yourself or changing for somebody else, she still kind of reverts back to, no, why, why should I have to do that? And I think that's a very modern idea. Rather than saying, if we're going to do a new version of Cinderella, rather than saying we're going to set it in modern times, yeah. We're going to go, we're going to make it the most cinderella -y Cinderella in the world, push it to its very extremes, yeah. and then put real characters in that world and say, OK, you have to get married in a week to somebody you don't know. Yeah. Yeah. How does that feel? You know, it's that kind of like psychological well, stuff that's really fun. that people pick out of fairy tales? They're like, well, you've just met and yet you're getting married tomorrow. Really? No one thought that was weird? No. no. OK. So it's nice to have sort of quite a self-aware fairy tale. People actually going, hang on a minute, you do realise that's crazy. <laughs> you understand it on a kind of more, yeah. on a sort of in a deeper way, I think. Well, there's someone on your wavelength within the story that you're watching. Exactly.